the main task of the Weimar is to provide material related, especially metal related technology to support the national strategy. At the current stage, China is conducting a large scale building of infrastructures, and these need material technology, especially metals. So that's the reason why we emphasize uh, applied research. So we have uh, also about 20% of the research force concentrating on very basic research to push the frontier of science. China is building uh, high-speed trains, uh, big aircrafts. Uh, we are building uh, nuclear power plants. And all these uh, infrastructures are mostly made of metal. We need to improve the quality of the materials. We need to maximize the safety of the components. We also need to increase the life of these components. And finally, we need to reduce costs. Graphene is a two-dimensional carbon material with many fascinating properties. My group is mainly working on the synthesis of graphene materials and their applications in optical electronics, energy storage, and composites. For example, we have uh, developed a non-destructive bubbling transfer method, which have greatly pushed the production of large area high-quality graphene films by chemical weapon devastation and their applications in, in electronics and optical electronics, such as flexible OLEDs. The also, we have uh, developed a three-dimensional graphene network material, which shows a great potential in many areas. The biggest challenge is uh, to find uh, killer applications that demand large quantity of graphene. In addition, rotash cost is the first problem. It is also very challenging to further improve the contrability, uniformity, and the quality of graphene materials. I like my major that is uh, use the electron microscopy to uh, observe the materials and the world. This is the uh, aberration corrected transmission electron microscopy. It's a very powerful analytical instrument. They can observe the atom arrangement in the materials, but also they can identify the uh, species of the, uh, each column. The main problem of the uh, material science is to uh, understand the relationships between microstructure and uh, the performance. We have found uh, many uh, new phase and the new structures. For example, many years ago, we uh, observed such kind of five-fold symmetry phase in the uh, titanium vanadium nickel alloys. Such kind of five-fold symmetry is not allowed in the bulk of the prisoner. I work in the field of uh, high temperature structural materials, uh, mostly on nickel-based superalloys. There are not many research institutes like IMR that are able to perform like high temperature structural material research uh, deeply inside, ranging from atomic scale uh, simulation characterization to complex uh, manufacturing technologies in modern aerospace engineering. More than 10 years, we design the equipment and we solve uh, key problems in uh, high temperature gradient so the directional solidification process. So we are very proud and very happy. We are now have the ability to provide a directional solidified and a single crystal turbine blades to industry for commercial applications. The IMI is a top the place for the research work in the China or even in the world. Our division is focused on the modeling, design, and uh, produce of the alloy. And the low segregation technology, the structure, various properties, relationship. With them, we can produce a lot of new alloys. Uh, and apply them successfully in the industrial area. Corrosion cost is very high, almost 3 to 5 percent of GDP worldwide. So many people work on corrosion, try, try to solve these problems. For the, for the mechanism understanding, uh, we work on the corrosion in the different environment for various materials. The, the environment includes the natural environment, such as the soil, uh, sea water. We collect many data in the, in the different places. We also use the acceleration test in the lab. 
try to connect that to the, uh, relationship. For the corrosion engineering part, we mainly work on the corrosion protection techniques. Of course, it's uh, scientists and talents. Like any uh, research institute, we rely on scientists. We try to provide the best conditions for uh, the scientists to work here. The Chinese Chemical Science Institute uh, have a graduate school. For example, the IMR graduate school have 900 uh, research students here. And that uh, provides a uh, very big and the best pool for young blood. The research activities in IMR will continue to be a vigorous research field in China from material design, development to processing and uh, manufacture. So I believe IMR will uh, continue to be a very important research uh, institute in the world.